hi guys welcome back to my channel so i've been wanting to try this sorrel fruit cake for a while now and i finally decided to give it a go so stay tuned let me show you how i make mine here i have softened butter make sure all your ingredients are at room temperature you can whip up your butter till it's nice and fluffy by itself but I'm just going to dump the sugar in there and whip it up together. Today's kind of a lazy day. Your cake will come out perfect, I promise you this. I'm just kidding. So I'm going to beat these till they're nice and fluffy. So I'm satisfied with this texture I'm gonna go in with my eggs one at a time have some lemon zest there you can use lime zest vanilla extract I'm just gonna keep beating and adding my eggs one by one You don't want to overbeat your eggs. This is nice and fluffy. The eggs don't smell too raw right now. I'm happy with this. I'm going to go in with my sorrel puree. I'm going to be posting the link to this video below. I did this a couple months ago. I'm going to post a link to that. And I'm going to go in with my blended fruits. Just going to gently blend those in. Remember, we don't want to overbeat anything. I'm going to go in with my dry ingredients. I will be posting the full recipe below. I'm just going to add it a quarter at a time. You don't want to toss everything in there all at once and then it's difficult. You don't want to lumps. Always make sure you sift your dry ingredients. It is very important. Now you can use a spatula or a spoon to just cut and fold, but I'm taking the easier route today. I'm just going to use my mixer. Now I added a bit of um, wine there because I found the batter was a little bit too tight. So I loosened it up a bit and we don't work miracles here. And the truth is, I had my sorrel puree for over a week so that it gets darker over time. I added a bit of gel food color in there because honey, you're gonna lose the color during the baking process. It will become a palish pinkish color and we don't want that. We want it to kind of pop a little bit. Yeah, I grease my baking pan and I put um, wax paper at the bottom and I dusted the, the pan with just a little bit of flour so the cake can be easily removed once baked. I'm using a nine inch pan. You want to shake it just to smooth things out and then tap it to get rid of those extra air bubbles. Now you're going to bake this in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about an hour and a half or until a skewer inserted in the middle comes out clean. Now, while this is hot, I'm gonna use a mixture of rum and wine to brush over it. I also poke some holes in it with a skewer, you know, just to get the alcohol to kinda get inside of it. That would add extra moisture also. And here, it is completely cooled. I'm going to demold it, run a knife around the edges to loosen it up a bit. And look at that. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? The smell, the texture, the taste, everything is perfect. I'm happy with this on my very first try. I'm happy with this. Just a little bit of decoration there. Nothing too fancy. Look at that. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you give the recipe a try and let me know how it turns out.